What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Nigerians shocked as Akbabio's report on NEDC fraud not only indict lawmakers but also include governors, ministers, and federal government officials. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. A report has indicated that top federal government officials, two former governors, and some traditional rulers were listed as beneficiaries of contract from the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. According to the Nation newspaper, a document recently released showed that police officers from other security agencies and judicial officers also got NDDC contract worth billions of dollars over the years. This latest disclosure is in addition to the list sent, uh, the list sent back Babio to the House of Representatives Speaker Femi Bajabiamila, which also include names of some members of the House of Representatives as contract beneficiaries of the commission. The newspaper reported that the document contains project description, local government areas, proposed contractors, contact details including phone numbers, project sources, and dates the contract were awarded. Meanwhile, Senator Peter Nwaboshi, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Niger Delta, has dead Gosu Lakbabi over the list of lawmakers who allegedly got contract from NDDC. According to Premium Times, the Delta lawmaker challenged Lakbabi to send a list of contractors to the EFCC. The minister had earlier released the names of lawmakers, federal lawmakers involved, including Nwaboshi, who had 53 projects against his name. However, Nwaboshi, in reaction to Akbabio's list, said the allegation has no bearing with the truth. The lawmaker also dared Akbabio to send the list to other security agencies as well if the minister can support the allegation. In another report, as more details continue to come to the public domain on the rot in the NEDC, Senator James Manager says he did not benefit from any contract. Manager, who was once a chairman of the Senate Committee on Niger Delta Affairs, disclosed this while reacting to allegations from the executive director project of the agency, Dr. Cairo Ojugbo. Ojugbo had accused the senator of getting contract from the commission, the nation reports. The senator also threatened legal action against Ojugbo for defamation. Nigerians in Benin reveal how to end corruption. All right, guys, uh, there is a very serious tension. This is a disgrace. It's a disgrace not only to Nigerians, but to humanity as a whole. These guys who are supposed to be our lawmakers, who are honorable, you get me, are the ones who have looted and destroyed the NDDC over the years. That is where right now there's a forensic audit that have been um, that have been instigated, that have, that have started, that will backdate all the way from 2001 to date. You get so, and that's why you see these lawmakers are not comfortable with it. They were even querying the essence of the forensic audit. They were querying it. You get me that the money is too exuberant and all of that. They, in fact, what they are trying to do, they are calling on the president to shut down NDDC. They know that if they do, they will hide the, 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 the evidence. Evidence is going to be hidden. You get. So these guys, have, these are probably reports, are for that not only uh, indict the lawmakers, but also indict former governors, former serving ministers and also some traditional rulers who are involved in this, you know, corruption uh, this scheme. So you can see here that over the years, you know, if, if you look at it very well, if you look at why the NDC was set up, the NDC was set up as a way of compensating the people of the South-South, 
you get me that you are the one who breastfeed the nation okay let us give you some stipend because that budget they give to NDC is stipend compared to what they are getting from and from niger delta it's just a stipend it is what they are doing they are doing us more injustice now look at what is happening after they even give us that stipend we don't even enjoy that stipend it is still the federal lawmakers it is still the cabal members that still comes around and siphon that money they wear masquerade come and siphon that masquerade and you don't even know who did that that's why you see they're acting through proxies you know they use proxy to do what to act they set up company they push a particular senator you know house of red member to be the one probably from the south south to get a project and give to them so you can see this is all i don't know i don't know how this country came to this extent today now akbabi right now is they, they, they want to use him as a scapegoat that is why you see akbabi himself he doesn't want to go down alone he wants to go down as many as possible he wants to expose everybody at the end of it when they know they will, they will go down they will do what they will save the day they will brush this in another carpet and nobody will hear about it again Nobody's going to hear about it. And if Barry is serious about fighting corruption, he should allow this forensic audit to unravel every secret, secret detail from 2001 till date. From 2001 till date, everything is going to be exposed. I listened to Asari Dokubo's video today where he actually indicted, you know, the late Issa Funtua of, you know, of actually looting, you know, the South South dry. He said that Issa Funta was the one who, who actually bought over a Tisalat, you know, that is Nine Mobile. He's the one who bought Nine Mobile, created Nine Mobile, and that how did he do it? He went straight to the central bank and collected more than 200 million. He used, you understand me, under the nose of Buari, and Buari did nothing about it. That's what Asai Dokubo said. I cannot validate it. I don't know if it's true. But that story is credited to him. I'm going to make a full video of it today. So you just be on the watch out. I'm going to make a video of Asai Dokubo giving a full length. You need to hear what Asai Dokubo said. He commented on the NDC probe and, you know, and other issues about Nigeria that is so shocking for you to hear. So I'm going to make that video. You just watch out for that video i'm going to post it so guys um, a lot of heads are going to roll recently akbabio sent a letter to the national assembly based on the request and the threat made by the house of representatives that akbabio if he doesn't submit that list of lawmakers because at a point in time they will push it under the carpet and nobody will hear anything they will bring up an issue you know these guys are uh, uh actually as strategists what they are going to do they're going to bring up an issue create one scene create one in incidents in nigeria that would divert people's attention to what is happening could you imagine that that big brother niger started nobody's even aware that big brother niger have even started majority of nigeria let me not say nobody's aware majority of nigeria were not even aware that big brother niger have started because of this NEDC probe, because of this Akbar Bio allegation that actually rocked Nigeria to its foundation. People did not even think about the end of the Big Brother. And that is what they are going to do. They will bring up an event that will make Nigeria to forget about this NEDC probe and begin to look at the other way. So, guys, what do you think about this? Please drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, this. And uh, before you leave, please do make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button click that bell icon share our video to your friends if you know you at least you like our news you can click the like button if you don't like this news click that dislike button as a way of showing your disapproval for this news you get me if you know you want to further help us you can share this news to your friends on facebook twitter whatsapp and other social media god bless you for doing that drop your comment before you leave thank you